Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany and in today's video I'm going to be playing with some makeup that I believe deserves some more hype and uh, some of these are new products and some of them are some of my old hidden gems. If you enjoy this type of video then go get a snack, get comfy, and let's hang out. We are zoomed in close and personal. So I'm going to start off with this Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage uh, Powder Foundation. It looks like this. And this is in the shade 120 Classic Ivory. This is not a new product by any means. I have used this for about six years. <laughs> maybe seven now, but um, this is my favorite powder foundation. If I'm in a hurry and I need, if I don't have time to do like liquid all over my face, I will just throw this on because it um, hides all my blemishes, it controls my redness, um, but it is super good and I, it's really, I think it's about $10, but let's go ahead and apply this to the face. So, are you ready? It is got amazing coverage it blends in really fast too and it comes with a little applicator but I just love how effortless it it takes like a short amount of time it's super easy to use um, it is mattifying so if you're really dry not too sure if you're gonna like it I do have um, leaning to the dry skin but I just use um, a setting spray with this and it tends to Give me that luminosity back into my skin which it, you know it helps for me okay so it it takes me about 60 seconds to really get it all an even coating all over my face and I do look and I feel a little powdery right now but once I get my base products on then I will set it now um, if you do use a concealer use your concealer first before you use that powder because um, it would just blend a lot better if you use it before um, next, I'm going in with the Butter Bronzer. Once again, it's not a new product by any means, but it's just one of those old classic hidden gems that a lot of people forget about. If I'm ever in a bond and my face makeup is just not blending out very good, I will always reach for my Butter Bronzer, and every single time, it fixes it. It makes my makeup look really good and blended. This is just one of those old staples that... With time, I never forget about. I use it all the time. And you can't buy it in the single. I just have this little palette that I bought at Target. Um, you can, the Ulta Beauty used to have them. And I believe Walmart has them. But I think, um, I think Target still carries these. Now, the highlighter falls out. It's, it's not the best quality. But, um, it's still an amazing product. And for $10, you get three amazing products. For blush, I have been using the Butter Blush from Physicians Formula, and I use the one in this palette. It's right in the middle. This is in the shade Butter Blush Beachy Peach. And in my opinion, this is a dupe for the NARS Orgasm. I did have that palette. I decluttered it because mine got hard pan, but I did enjoy it. But honestly, I didn't repurchase it because this blush gives me a gorgeous glow within it does have a little bit of shimmer but I just love the Physicians Formula blushes they're amazing I do have this one from Physicians Formula this is the butter blush in the shade Vintage Rouge it's as beautiful as well um, this is more of a mauve tone they're both in my opinion flawless I really enjoy them like I said they're older products but don't forget about your older products go show them some love because they are amazing so next for highlighter, I have been absolutely loving the Glam Light highlighter in the shade Pina Colada. This released um, with their like their drink collection. This is a gorgeous highlighter. Um, this is really inexpensive as well, but it is like it can get really blinding as you can see. And I do have my beauty lights turned down so it doesn't wash me out. But it is seamless. It really Honestly, it applies similar to the Charlotte Tilbury the, in the Nude Gaslam Face Palette. I do enjoy it, um, but just letting y'all know, give Glam Lot a chance if you have not. It is an indie brand, but that does not mean the quality is any less than. It is amazing, and this has become one of my go-to highlighters. 
So once I apply my powder, the bronzer, blush, and highlighter, then I will go in to my setting spray to kind of like, because there's so much powders going on, I will soak my face in this and then kind of use a beauty sponge to press everything into the skin. So I've just been um, using this, the Morphe, it's, they did a collaboration with Sour Patch Kids. This is, a, it's a, it's scented like watermelon, but I think the, hold on, this is pretty stout. <laughs> it's really good, but I do prefer the, just the original scent that they have. You know that. Um, the Morphe setting spray was hopped up a few years back, but a lot of people have forgotten about it and they found, you know, new loves, but I still go back to this all the time. I love to find mist on it. It really coats your face very evenly. And as you can see, it gives you a very pretty luminous effect to the skin. And once I, um, spray it all over my face, I just kind of go in with a powder just to like press it into my skin like this. But I love it and it kind of takes away, you know, like the tightening effect. I enjoy it so much. Next, I'm going to go into eyeshadow, and I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Primrose Palette. Now, this is a newer um, eyeshadow palette from them. It's absolutely stunning, and a lot of people passed over it because this. they also included um, a blush and bronzer. Now, this is not going to work for many skin tones as a blush and bronzer. Um, in my opinion, it just uses eyeshadow. It it looks completely orange on your skin. It is not a good tone for any skin tone, in my opinion. And as far as using it as a blush, it's too pigmented. It does not blend well as a blush. Now, as eyeshadow, it's really good. But, you know, with the ABH formula, you do get a lot of kick up. Nothing has changed. You still get a lot of kick up with this palette. But the shimmers, this is the star of the show for the palette. I was going to pass over it, but I was in Ulta and I just kind of, I walked by and I went ahead and swatched it. And these shimmers are absolutely beautiful. They are a little bit of a thicker consistency, but they, they are just super beautiful beautiful. Um, I'll swatch a few of my favorites for you just so you can kind of see how they really like glide onto the skin. You will not regret it. Um, I got this one sale for about 40% off. Um, I highly, I highly recommend you picking this up if you can get it for a sale and this is a color story that you're into. I'm not going for anything fancy today. I'm just going to do a quick look. So I'm going to take the shade right here, Honey, and just kind of put that in my crease. I do love their formula. I used to collect all of their eyeshadow palettes, but I've kind of steered away from that just because they were releasing so many there for a while. And um, I, there was just too much going on. So I did declutter a few. Um, I gave a few away, sold some. But uh, I kind of just took a break from them and then I saw this palette and I just, I could not pass it up. It is absolutely flawless. Now I'm going to take the shade Mango and just kind of run that underneath my lid. But this palette, I normally go to it for like a really pretty pink look. And I'm also going to, um, I'm also going to dip into this blush shade, which, like I said, I use it as eyeshadow. I do not use it as blush. I tried one time, and the formula is just like their trios. It was just too harsh on my skin tone. It can look clownish really quick. <sighs> like I said, you do get a ton of kick up in these shadows, but, um, you know, that's just typical for ABH. Now, for the shimmer, I'm going to go in with the shade Peony. It's right here. It's stunning. And this is how I apply my shimmer shades. So, I get a fluffy brush. It can be any fluffy brush. I dip it into the shadow. And I kind of coat it pretty good. Just kind of kick up some. And then I get a setting spray. And I go ahead and I spray it pretty good. I do have textured lids and like fine wrinkles on them, some fine lines, and then I just apply it and it completely 
takes away all of the texture. I do go pretty up high into the crease with it just to blend it so it's all nice and seamless. I learned that technique from Heather Austin and I thought she was crazy whenever I first whenever she first said something. I was like, I am not going to get a fluffy brush full of shimmer and just blend that all over my eyelid because I don't want fallout. Okay, well if you spray it, you don't get any fallout. It's amazing. And I, I'm telling you, I have not applied a shimmer with my finger since. And I've been doing this for about six months. For my inner corner, I'm just going to go back into this Glam Lot palette. It's just a beautiful inner corner pop for me. I'm going to highlight the brow bone to get that lifted look effect. I'm going to dip in the shade Deep Berry just a little smidge to deepen up the outer corner. Now with ABH, you're going to get fallout. Just wipe it away. Um, I always recommend doing your eyeshadow first if you do not like fallout because with this formula you will get it. Um, but it just, it all wiped away. Um, no, I don't have any glitter marks on my face and that's the way I like it. The last product that I would like to talk about is this Dose of Colors Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade uh, Supernatural, but honestly, their entire line is beautiful. I love all of their lipsticks. This is just the one I typically go to. It's like a beautiful, uh, a cool tone nude. I typically do not go for liquid lipsticks, but this is super comfortable on the lips and creamy. Whenever it dries down, it it is it can transfer just a little bit. Like if you're drinking out of a straw or something, you're gonna have just a little bit of color on there. But whenever it dries down, it's super comfortable. It's like you don't get like you know the butthole lips thing. That's not gonna happen. But I really enjoy this formula. And a lot of people they don't talk about dust of colors anymore, but they have amazing eyeshadow palettes. They and then once again with the highlight for me, it is definitely this liquid lipstick. I'm just going to add a gloss on top because I typically always go for like a glossy lip these days. Just like color pop um, lip oil in the shade Dew Drop. And to finish it off, I'm going to go back into that powder that we started with and I'm going to just kind of like clean up under my bronzer and just get it nice and snatched. <sighs> I've been dipping into this a lot, so there's a little bit of kick up on it. Just one last set, and then I'm going to go back into the setting spray. Just lightly, because I can get carried away. It smells really good, but if you do not like a watermelon scent, then you will not like this one bit. Alright guys, that does it for today's video. I hope you all enjoy the products that I showed you. Let me know in the comments what are some of your favorite products that do not receive as much hype as they should. They can be new, they can be old, um, but let me know what are some products that you reach for all the time that a lot of people don't talk about anymore. Wherever you are, I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe. Stay beautiful guys. Bye.